Okay, I want to give you the directions and your instructions on your uh, research project. If you are working on this, it's because your uh, fake Facebook profile profile is completely finished. Uh, you turned it in. I, if I gave you feedback on it, you changed it and fixed it so that you have this uh, ready to go. So, uh, what you're looking at here is your next uh, page here, which is your research project. So you can go ahead and open up that assignment which you probably already have done because you're watching this video. So um, I want you to go to the instructions and what you're going to do is you're going to click on this research fourth grade document. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so uh, as you can see here on my document that I've shared with you, and this, you can only read this. This is anything that you can edit on. Um, so what you'll be doing is you'll be researching online about one of the topics down below. You're going to find the answers and you're going to type each one into a complete sentence. Your paper will be in a paragraph form. For bonus points you can add pictures and websites to it which I'll show you very briefly at the end of this instructional video. So you can pick one of these three topics. Tell me about your favorite superhero, tell me about your favorite band or musician, or tell me about your favorite movie or TV star. And then you're going to look for these um, questions here and answers. Now, uh, these are things that you're going to have to look up online, and this is the point of this lesson. I've noticed in a lot of my older kids that I have in class, they cannot go to a website and find information very easily. It's very hard for them, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to actually practice this with something that you're very interested in, hopefully. If it's your favorite band or musician or a TV star or your superhero, uh, it should be something that you're, you would be very willing to go online and read about. So. Um, you're going to go ahead and pick one of those three topics um, and you're going to find answers to these three questions and then of course this last one just says find one other interesting fact about them. So to do this I'll open up a new tab and I'm going to do a search. So up here in my omnibar I can do a search so I might search for Superman. Okay so if I go Superman uh, if this happens to be which it's not my favorite superhero it's just when I picked, you can find a website to go ahead and look up some of the information that you'll probably need to do this little research paper, or actually more like research paragraph. Um, now, uh, I have a lot of students that keep saying that they're not supposed to use Wikipedia. Now, let's talk about Wikipedia for a second. Wikipedia is a, an encyclopedia that anybody can go on and add, edit, or change. Okay, so a lot of people believe that because anybody can go on there they can put anything they want to. Now Wikipedia is, is, is based basically off of that, but they have fact checkers that will go on and check to make sure that whatever's been done and changed and added uh, is actually true. So there is a chance that fake information could be put on there, but those things get caught very quickly and then switched back. So for our sake and our purposes now if we were doing a very professional research paper we probably would not use Wikipedia but for all of the things that we'll need in here Wikipedia is going to be a just fine resource to use. Okay and it's probably where you're going to find all of your information at. So you'd actually go into a website so I'm going to use Wikipedia for example and on Wikipedia, there's going to be all of this crazy stuff. These crazy little symbols, shapes, very weird. Do you see them all here? They're all kind of black. Some of them are blue. Yes, these are called words. And uh, we read those words. When we actually string them together, they make sentences and phrases and actually give you information. So that's kind of what you're going to do here is you're going to read. Now, uh, it's a basic thought here they have all sorts of different little subheadings so you can see here creation and conception this is when Superman was first invented okay so publication this is when he was first put into comic books um, influences so as you scroll down there you can read the subtitles to kind of find out where your general information is going to be at okay so what you need to do then is get your information um, you're gonna come back to this research project you're going to go into your work and you're going to create a document. Okay, I did that fast. Let's do it again. I'm in classroom. I was instructions. I want to go to your work and I want you to create a document. That's going to create your document for you with the correct title on it. Here it is, research project. It's going to have your name here. I'll click it. I'll open it. And alas, this is where you will actually start typing out your sentences. 
Okay. Now your sentence, your uh, stuff here needs a title. So Superman. Oops, I need to capitalize there. Superman would be a good title. Okay. I'll might come down a little bit. I'm going to make sure all of my text is over here. I'm not going to center all of my text. This is where I will type what I found. And I'm going to put it in sentence form, which means it starts with a capital. It ends with some sort of a punctuation mark. You need to have two spaces after each sentence. Okay. So with that being said, you're pretty much ready to go. Now, very quickly here, you can always come back to this video. I do want to show you how you're going to add pictures and web links in. Um, I think we've done this before, but just in case not, you're going to come up here to the tools and choose research. That's going to give you your little research bar up over here. And as you go, you can type in something like Superman. It's going to look for all sorts of Superman things like pictures. You could drag a picture in. You can drag a website in, insert a link. Boom, there it is. Drag a picture in. Boom, there it is, uh, and so on and so forth. So that's what you need to work on. Go to it if you have questions. Of course, you can ask Mr. Meyer to help you out.